Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Exit Pack. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how do you actually start using Exit Pack? Well, Exit Pack here is a great way for you to fix some connectivity issue. Because sometimes, uh, it, either if you have a proper internet connection or if you have a fast internet connection, but if you're having like packet loss, uh, it means that your connection might not be optimi optimized. So meaning using Exilag here could actually help you optimize your connection and choosing the appropriate routes to actually connect to the nearest server so that you will be able to use or get the most out of your games. Now in this case, first thing we need to do here is we need to install Exitag. So first things first, you just need to open up any browser here, go to their official website, which is going to be exitlag.com. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to basically view the download page here. So typically at the top section here, you should see the link or button that says download. So go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do is just click on download exit bag. So there's going to be some uh, prerequisites for you to install exit bag here. So you need to have Windows 7 or superior. So as long as you have Windows 7, 8, uh, 10, and even 11. So if you have those uh, uh, Windows versions, you could uh, go ahead and install it into your PC. Now in this case, it's going to give you an exit file, go ahead and run that, and it should automatically uh, basically open up the installation process, and it should, uh, at the very end, give you this following UI here. So it's actually pretty easy to install, just follow the on-screen steps, and you should be good. Now in this case, this is going to be the UI for exit hack. But in this case, there's going to be a few things that I would, I would actually suggest you try doing before you actually try using Exigag. Now, sometimes if you don't have the proper DNS for your PC here, sometimes that might be the cause for your lag. So to fix that, you need to go to your search at the bottom right, left here. Just type in control panel and go ahead and open it up. And from here, you want to go to network and internet and you want to go to the network and sharing center. And from here, click on your internet section here or your connection section. And from here, go to properties and under properties, look for IPv4. Go ahead and click on it and go to properties. And from here, go to the use the following DNS server addresses. Make sure that you select that and enter the following preferred DNS servers and alternate DNS server. So it's going to be 8888 and the alternate DNS server is going to be 888. Four, four. So this is going to be the DNS server for Google. So it's actually pretty optimized for me personally. I uh, prefer using this one because my internet connection is actually pretty pa fast since I'm using this DNS server. Now in this case, once you've done that, click on OK, click on close, click on close here and exit the application itself. Now from here, what we need to do next is open up XA lag here and you should be able to see the UI. Now, in this case, you first have to set up your account. So go to the account section here. And from here, make sure that you actually start creating your account. So creating your account is actually pretty easy. So you could basically create your account via the application itself or via the website. So if you want to go to my account here, you can go and click on register. And from here, what we need to do is enter your first name, your last name, your email, your access password, and the confirmation of your password, and agree to the terms of service and privacy policy here. Now, with any uh, platforms or applications that you're actually signing up, make sure that you read their terms and services and privacy policy to protect yourself and know what is allowed and not allowed within the platform or application. Now, in this case, go ahead and agree that and click on create my account, and you should be able to create your account. And the next step that you need to do is verify your account. So there's going to be a few things that we need to do a complete first before we start using exit lag here. So usually you're in your email, you should be able to receive two email addresses or emails here on your account. So first email is going to be the confirmation on your account. So in this case, you just need to click on confirm my email and it should pop up the following tab here that says your email address has been verified. Now, once you've done that, you could go ahead and start using exit lag. Now, in this case, there it's all goes also going to give you a following email here, which in this case, some instructions on how to start using Exidag here. So first, you need to launch the Exidag application, choose the game, uh, click on the option or select the region and click on apply routes. And from then, open your game and that should actually optimize your connection on that specific game. 
Now in this case, let's go ahead and go to our games here to give you a proper view. And we want to go to the home page here and choose the application. So maybe I want to say I want to search for League of Legends here. So let's just type in League here. So let's just type in League and choose League of Legends here. Now what we need to do here is what we uh we need to do is choose a game region here. So typically it's going to be a lot of regions here on your uh, uh sections here. And also you have the option to use routes within your country first and redirect login connections as well. And you also have the advanced routes here if you want to set the routes TCP and routes UDP here if you want those. Now in this case, once you've chosen your region, well, what you need to do here is just click on optimize and it's going to actually analyze the routes or optimal routes that you could take for your game. Now in this case, just wait for it and usually it's going to complete itself as you can see. It's going to be something really fast. You just need to wait for a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your uh, how fast it is or how optimal or they're going to uh, analyze the uh, paths that it will be taking. Now in this case, it, once the, it is actually completed, it's going to show the routes here. And once it actually shows, you could go ahead and click on apply routes and you should be able to start using their services. But the thing here with XDLAG is XDLAG is not actually free, but you could uh, basically get a, a free month on your subscription if you want to try their services. So typically, if you go to XDLAG here, we should be able to see the pricing, which is located in the top section here. And as you can see, uh, regarding their website, they have the monthly, quarterly, and annual. So for the monthly, you have 222 Philippine Peso here. So I believe this is going to be around $4 if you convert this one or 3.5 if I'm not mistaken. They have the quarterly here, which is estimated 148 a month. So times that by uh, 4, uh, sorry, that's quarterly. So times three so that's going to be a quarter of a year so it's around three or four hundred something here which is something a lot less if you're going to compute that if you're going to consider the use their services here they also have the animal here which is one on, around one out of three per month so it's times that like 12 again you'll be able to save more that is 53 percent off now in this case you could go ahead and select the plan that you want to use here and you should be able to start using their services here also, like what I said before, if you subscribe for two months, you get one month free. So if you want to do that, you could go ahead. But yeah, using XDLAG here is actually pretty easy. But sometimes uh, just adjusting some settings on your computer, like for example, restarting your router, changing, changing your TNS server, or just basically restarting your PC, something actually helps with the lag that you're receiving on your games. But as an additional precaution, using XDLAG here is a great way for you to uh, avoid those uh, pesky lags into your games. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.